Welcome back to the channel, everybody. It is your friend, yes, to the end. You know it. Mr. Drop Gems. We're going to drop a gem today together. Gotti. 2018's Gotti. Now, I'm getting into it. My thoughts, of course, spoilers ahead. Oh, fucking blah. How could you spoil someone's real life when you know all about it? And you can read all about it, watch all about it, learn all about it. The truth. And they come out with Gotti. Now, I want to refer to Gotti. 1996's Gotti. Okay, with Amarta Santi. I want you guys to look at that movie, watch that movie. If you want to know about John Gotti or uh, watch a movie about John Gotti instead of watching real shit, um, watch the movie because it's an amazing movie about Gotti. Gotti would be proud. I'm sure he was. I mean, it's an amazing movie. Um, but Mr. Gotti here, well-known gangster, well-known, uh, you know, philanthropist, if you want to say. And nothing but respect, man. You know, R.I.P. Rest in peace for sure. And you're going to do this shit to him. Um, it's been done, you know, the best. And you're going to put John Travolta, of all people, in this fucking role, guys. John Travolta. And Travolta is just shit in this role. Like, his accent is shit. His, his look is shit. His swag is shit. Um, look at this, guys. Travolta coming out smiling as a mob boss. You believe he killed people, guys? You believe he was a trigger man? You Look at this shit. I try to make him young. Look at this. Excuse me, I'm coughing because this is just getting in me. This is a massive fucking movie rant. If you didn't realize that, 4.7 on IMDb. Um, the movie seems like it was made to to glorify maybe more of his son too. It seems like his son is still alive, so his son wants to make some money. Of course, yeah, he wants to do it legit. I'm mean, with respect, dude. And you want to do it off your father's name and your and your father's life story. And you want to include yourself in that and just retell rehash real events and real stories again and again to make money that's fine you didn't make much money did you but it's okay because your father did it the best but uh number one priority here would be this actor the main actor to play god you got to get somebody that's fucking amazing you know Marna santi did this in 1996 the best and you're gonna fucking go with travolta and travolta i can't you can't believe that this man's a killer like a uh, look at him look at that look i mean we'll run that back real quick guys I want to see that that look he tried to do. And this is real shit that he could watch and study, and you know, so he could just imitate it. Look at that. Oh, yeah, I'm John Gotti. You, you'll never be John Gotti. I mean, come on, guys. Travolta is Gotti? Travolta is Gotti. Nah, man, he showed the world that he's not the boss. He's who's the boss? He's a Tony Danza. You know, this is a Tony Danza thing here. Ha, ha, ha. Where's Judith Light at? There she is. You know, this is crazy, man. This is fucking nuts. Disrespect. To a fucking legend, you know. I don't care. Leave a comment down below what your what your fucking opinion is. I mean, that's fine by me. What you think about somebody, you know, you're entitled. I respect it. So I respect anyone. Fuck it. We all gotta live a life, right? So he lived his life, and that's it. We we, we want to see real shit about his life. Look at that. Like, oh, what do you want me to do? Look at this. I'm like he's the. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm laughing. That's so funny. <laughs> that fucking part. Where he's holding it, putting his hand down his belly like he's a fucking... Look at the swag he's trying to present, guys. And it doesn't work. It doesn't come across in the screen. Doesn't doesn't make us believe that he's Gotti. Doesn't make us want to think want to think about Gotti or think about the stories he went... Look at that, trying to show his son all the time. Concentrating. Obviously, his son pushed this production along with Mr. Travolta to get this movie made. And, uh, you know, that's a good... Look at that shit. Look at this. That's how he should look. Yeah, piece of shit. This has gone downhill, man. Um, but none of the love to Travolta, honestly. He's been through a lot in the past couple of years. I have nothing but love for him. He's a strong man, a strong actor, a good person, I'm sure. But this fucking role, come on, dude. It's like, this is a problem here because you're believing that you're something you're not. And that's that's the problem with Travolta here, with this movie. He's he's He he shouldn't have took this role. He, he, was, he was thinking he could do something with the person, guys. And and that's the only that's the fuck up, you know. And he, I guess somebody was in his ear telling him that he could do this role or he could be this person, and or he looked like this person, and you know he re, they reminded him of this person. But it's all a fucking sham, you know. What a sham! And they tried to sham us, but everybody was too smart for that. So as you can see, a ten million dollar budget, mostly to Travolta, of course. Uh, box office is only six point four, so it's a fucking failure, like it should be. We're gonna go over the plot, but I don't even go over this motherfucking plot. Um, I can't believe they have a plot for a real person um, that that we know everything about. But we'll we'll go through this. So 
Travolta here, as you know, we're going right to the plot. I'm done ranting on this piece of shit. I'm over with this video. Waste your fucking time renting this sucker movie or, you know, paying for it, watching it, trying to watch it, trying to seek it. No, just let this shit do its thing. Let it, let it sit in the back of the video store, you know? Collect dust. This shit is fucking trash and a disrespect to any person, let alone John Gotti, a fucking man of men. Look at that, trying to amp his son up. Amp him, amp him. Anyways, oh yeah, there's that look, guys. You know, I love his wife. His wife is beautiful. She's always been beautiful. She's always great to look at. She's a great actress, so fuck off. Kelly Preston, we love you. R.I.P. to you. And uh, so let's go to the, the, the plot. Uh, basically, you follow John Gotti in his life, and you follow Vince in his life. John Gotti, if you didn't know, back in the day, back in the uh, 80s, uh, late 70s, in the 70s, 80s, and into the 90s, this man was... Uh, a mafioso king, a boss. He's the first kind of mafio boss to come out and embrace the media, embrace his lifestyle, and not be hiding it so much, you know. And also beat charges, beat fucking charges in court over and over again against him. You know, the, the Teflon Don, you know. We all know about John Gotti. If you, if you don't, you should learn about him. I mean, I don't know. It's, it's Some of the shit could be, inspire you in some form or fashion, just, just his work ethic, you know, his rise to power. Um, Got to give props and respect to anyone that, like I said, achieves a dream, whether it's good or bad. So, you know, I don't and say I'm not judging him personally. So let's, let's get into the movie. We're sticking to Gotti. So basically, that's this what the plot is. You know, you follow Mr. Gotti here and you get a lot of his son in there. You get to see his son and how he treated his son, his relationship with his son. Probably really authentic because I'm sure his son was involved in this production and told Mr. Gotti these moments and what his father told him. Um. Or how you know how he wanted to look on screen, whatever. Oh, we're not gonna get into that, guys. Um. So, anyways, you finally follow Gotti, and this movie, that's it. You just follow him through these these times and these fucking moments that were done way better in other movies, and, and uh, you don't even care about what's happening, and you just follow Gotti through his life and his death, and basically he goes to prison because you know he he beats the charges, yes, but eventually it, everything catches up to everyone, doesn't it? So he fucking goes to jail. He rots in jail. His problems in jail. He gets attacked in jail. Yeah, he tells his son to stay in the game. Do not leave the mafia. To to continue the lifestyle. Continue his name. Uh, but no, his son wants out. Eventually, his father dies, and his son gets out. He leaves when his father dies. So his father don't know nothing. Smart one, John Gotti Jr. And that's it. This movie's a piece of shit. Never watch it. Put it in your trash can in the dumpster. To, uh, make sure they pick it up. And put it in the back of the garbage truck, and crush it, and then bring it to the landfill, and then it gets a whole bunch of shit on top of it. Probably other Travolta movies that we'll probably go through, but you know this is this movie shouldn't have been made, and it was made because uh, you know somebody was pushing it. I, I you know somebody was pushing it, and we all know who was pushing it, and it wasn't Mr. Travolta. I think it was Travolta. I think I said I think somebody brainwashed Mr. Travolta to think that he would be a uh, great in this role, and you know he found out the hard way. So it breaks my heart. So uh, fuck off with this movie. It's complete, utter, just dismay of a movie. Don't watch it. Don't listen to it. And that's it. Believe the hype. It's trash. So it's fucking garbage. All right, guys. Thanks for listening to my massive fucking rant on Gotti. Peace.